What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This video and the next bunch of videos on my channel are gonna be awesome. They're gonna be action packed, filled with endless adventure. And this is going to be the first video of this little mini series because I am going on a road trip down to New Orleans, Louisiana. And as you guys know, I live in Long Island, New York, which is about right outside New York City. Um, New Orleans, Louisiana is about 20 um, hours away from where I live on road, so it's about two days to get there. And not only am I excited for this vacation because I'm going to get to see New Orleans, the awesome city of New Orleans, going to go on a boat tour, on a swamp, see plantations, see abandoned ghost towns. The road trip there and back are going to be awesome because I'm going to pass through states I've never been to before. I'm going to pass through cities I've never been to before. And the best part is that I'm going two different ways, going there and coming home. So on my last day in New Orleans, when I'm like, damn, all right, this vacation's over. It's not because I have a whole other new road trip coming. However, it's 3 a.m. right now. It's about to be 4 a.m. And that's when me and my dad wanted to be out the door. So let's leave. Let's hit the road. And there's a few more things I want to talk about then, but I'll make it more interesting on the drive. Okay, guys, so we did rent a Chevy Colorado for the trip. Um, I would have shown you the outside, but it's kind of pouring rain right now. So I'll show you it later when it's not raining. Right, so it's about 411 right now. We're leaving perfectly on schedule like we wanted to. And guys, you know, what's interesting about this trip, one of the main things I'm excited for is to really like travel through the American South. Um, I've done that before when I was like more of a kid and I went to Disney with my parents, we drove down there. But like to be in the actual like deep South, like the states like Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, uh, that's gonna be really cool. I've never been to Tennessee either, even though that's not really considered the deep South. Um, however, it's all gonna be really, really cool. So many new states and cities, so I'm excited to see what this adventure brings because it's definitely uh, one of the main ones I've been on in a long time. <clears throat> I always loved how quiet the roads are at 4am. I think I say this in every video when I pass by here when we're going on an early morning road trip, how this street is like always so packed and now it's not. Literally no one else on it. Look at that. Nobody. Alright, so my dad's doing a quick coffee stop at 7-Eleven and um, before we really hit the road, because right now we're still like in my neighborhood. I just wanted to say um, that I we are just gonna focus on driving right now, getting out of New York City and the whole tri-state area, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Um, and the next time I feel like I should probably talk to you guys or I wanna say something, I will do that then. So until then, enjoy a little road trip montage compilation. <laughs> down to West Virginia and Virginia for a uh, vacation and on the way down we took this exact same way Interstate 81 south and we stopped off here in Hagerstown Maryland at the same gas station we're gonna go to now here's a bathroom get some food over here we got a Waffle House right next to the gas station you gotta love Waffle Houses one of the most southern things ever guys so this chocomo company United Dairy I think it's only like down here in this part of the country in Appalachia because like up by me where I live I've never seen it 
and it's so good i remember it from my last trip so a thousand percent recommend if you're ever down here get united dairy chocolate milk all right guys so we can start to uh say goodbye to maryland because we're coming up on west virginia now uh, which is pretty cool west virginia is a cool state um like you guys know i've been there two years ago uh and it was very very fun very interesting and it's gonna be cool to pass through it again for sure Maryland and West Virginia are both very uh, short states we got to pass through on this trip, so, yeah. We are now in West Virginia. Get a little glimpse into some trailer parks over there. Virginia therefore we are making some great timing um, we're probably gonna go get some chick-fil-a sooner or later um, and eventually the next state is Tennessee which is a state uh, me and my dad have both not been to yet so that will really be cool but for right now it's a long long drive through Virginia um, but a beautiful one because of all the Appalachian Mountains and you guys are gonna see that later welcome to the Bible Belt <laughs> Hey guys, like I definitely believe in like God and Jesus and everything like that. Um, I do have a faith, I do follow it, but the South takes it to a whole new level, man. And especially when you get down into the deep South, because right now we're in Virginia. But once you get to the deep South, it's like an insane level of religion down there. You guys remember what I was saying about the Bible Belt? <laughs> it's just so funny guys because like the South United States is like its own world really. Like it has its own culture, its own like memes and like stereotypes. It's just they're all so funny and a lot of them are so true man. Like you've been driving in the South for a while, like a half hour already. And you've already seen like crosses everywhere and like again nothing wrong with that it's just so funny like the south really is a whole other world and like i said before once you get to the deep south that's when it really becomes like heavy but yeah like i was saying before right now we are in appalachia pretty much the heart of it um west virginia and kentucky are over that way right now we're in virginia but we can see a lot of the appalachian mountains so as we drive through Virginia, I'm going to do a little uh, montage. So enjoy the mountains with some bluegrass music. All right, guys, so we stopped off in this little town in Virginia called Middletown at that Chick-fil-A for lunch. The town is... Uh, pretty quiet pretty small um in the chick-fil-a everybody like knew each other um people would literally sit next to us they're like oh hey dude it's that small of a town it's crazy how it works down here seriously up in new york like at least where i'm from in new york it's the complete opposite like you see people new people every day all right so we are back on interstate 81 for about an hour now just continuously heading south through virginia uh, Virginia is another huge state, kind of like uh, Pennsylvania was, just taking hours to get through, but at least it's a pretty cool ride. Tennessee, which is next up, is going to be a pretty long ride too, so we're just hanging in there. So cool. So we got off in this town called Salem, Virginia to get some gas and I'm getting some really uh, cool, you know, country vibes from over here. You got the giant mountain and like rarely uh, any buildings anywhere. <laughs> A few houses, but that's really it. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> 
Confederate flag. Yep, we're in the south for sure. Man, these gas stations look so shady. Nice car. Damn. Alright guys, well if you've ever heard about a really shady gas station in a small southern town, this is definitely it. I am so excited to see what this place has to offer. It's actually a uh, clean little place. Definitely not what I was expecting. So the, uh, the cashier that worked in that store that I just went into, um, she was super nice. She was actually mesmerized by my dad's New York accent. Um, and she's asking my dad to say coffee and stuff. It's so funny. Just continuing on through Virginia. Man, that has to be like the 1,000th Cracker Barrel sign I've seen in this entire trip so far. And it's only two. All right, so this is our last few minutes here in the state of Virginia. We are about to cross over into Tennessee. <laughs> Giant cross. So Virginia has definitely been fun. It's been an interesting ride, but it's about time we get out of here and hit the new state that we've never been to before. Super pumped. Big moment for me. Hell yeah, baby. All right, so we just got to Tennessee. However, we want to stop off at a Bass Pro Shops, which is kind of like a little outdoor store. And it's like, you know, really, really popular. And I've never been here before. So I definitely want to spend some time to check it out. Guys, check this out. They got a whole display of animals over there. I'm pretty sure those are real ones that are dead. It's so big and so outdoorsy. All right, guys, so that store was um, really, really cool. Like I said, that was my first time in a Bass Pro Shops, and obviously it was just really appropriate for being in Tennessee. Um, basically, if you took like everything conservative and Southern and country ever and put it into one store, that's pretty much what Bass Pro Shops is. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Definitely an experience. I really liked it. Okay. Hold up. Cracker Barrel Wood Shop. Of course. Of course. <laughs> All right. Well, we are now officially back on I-81 and we are driving through Tennessee now, just continuing on. We're probably going to pull over for some dinner soon. Um, but yeah, I am really excited to see the state of Tennessee and drive through it and see what it has to offer. Look at that mountain up there, that is so big. I wonder if that's part of the Smoky Mountains. Definitely could be. I know we're gonna pass right by them. All right guys, so we're gonna pull over for dinner at this place called Raphael's in Kingsport. So, we'll see how it is. All right guys, so we just left the restaurant. It worked out really good. The food was pretty great. Uh, I didn't really film it, sorry about that. But I got like a ham and a prosciutto uh, hero. So yeah, it was pretty good. Um, we're gonna get back on the interstate now and continue driving as far as we can. All right, the sun is starting to set a little bit, which looks really, really cool behind that mountain. So we are officially in like the Smoky Mountains area right now because you're seeing signs for like all the resorts in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge and the Smoky Mountains National Park, all that kind of stuff. But uh, we're not really going to be going there this trip, unfortunately, because that would be really cool to see. Uh, we'll just have to make it another trip. You guys know me. And uh, you can tell that it's getting really dark out now. Uh, it's almost completely pitch black. When it is, that will be really cool. Can't believe we've been driving since 4 a.m. and now it's back to being dark out. It's crazy. I just love how the further south we go, the more the heat increases. <laughs> it's so funny. Guys, check this out. There's a Bucky's billboard up there. I cannot wait to try that. There's another one. Dude, it's like every couple miles there's a Bucky's sign. That's so funny. Tomorrow morning we're gonna go to a Bucky's in Alabama. 
All right, guys, so we are arriving up on Knoxville right now. Uh, I'm not really sure what Knoxville looks like. I haven't really heard much about it or never seen it really. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna see like a cool skyline in the distance or something like that. But if I do, I'll definitely show you guys. We got a little skyline over there, that's cool. I like that church looking building. Well, we uh, passed through the entire downtown of uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. And that was really, really small compared to New York. Man, I mean, you're driving on the highways outside New York City. You're following the New York skyline for miles and miles and miles. Here it was literally a minute. It's so crazy, man. The size comparison between like cities in the south and the north. It really is like a culture shock. It's a whole different world down here, man. That's why I love it, you know? I'm excited to see it. And we still got so much more left to experience. But here's the deal. It's about eight o'clock at night, right? Me and my dad are gonna shoot for Alabama, all right? We really wanna make cool leeway. So we are gonna try our best to make it to Alabama. So basically, knock out the rest of Tennessee tonight, make it through a little bit of Georgia, and then it's the beginning-ish of Alabama. Find a hotel somewhere around there, and basically just sleep there for the night, call it a day. Because that way, when we wake up in the morning, we'll only have like two states left, the rest of Alabama, Mississippi, and then into Louisiana. So we're just gonna keep on driving through the night. All right guys, so me and my dad gotta use the restroom, walk our legs a little bit, stretch our legs, I mean. <laughs> so we're gonna stop off at a Cracker Barrel. Of course, you know, you gotta do that when you drive through the South. It's definitely overdue that we visited Cracker Barrel. <laughs> we already made it to almost Alabama and we haven't visited one yet, so. All right, so we left the Cracker Barrel. Now we're about an hour and a half away from the Alabama state line, about something like that. Um, it's raining, bad again, unfortunately, but it's whatever, we'll persevere through it. We just gotta get to Alabama, that's our goal. And like I said before, nothing against religion, absolutely nothing against it, but, that's so creepy. Do you guys not agree with that? I mean, come on. It's like you're just driving in the middle of rural Tennessee at night and all of a sudden there's these giant glowing crosses like straight out of a horror movie, for real. Almost there guys, we got about an hour left. All right guys, so we're in Chattanooga, Tennessee now. Um, so basically we're at the end of Tennessee. We're about to be in Georgia for a little bit before we hit Alabama. Then we're just gonna try to find like the first hotel when we're in Alabama. But I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you look over there, you got Lookout Mountain, which is a really, really tall mountain in this area. And you can see, I believe three states from it, Tennessee, Georgia, and Alabama. And when you're in Chattanooga, the mountain is like really big in the distance. So that's really cool. If this was the day right now and it wasn't rainy, we'd be able to see it very nicely right over there, but we don't have that luck right now, so. All right, I lied to you guys. <laughs> There's Lookout Mountain. I actually have a really good view of it right here. It's so big. From the top of it, you can actually go to the top and look out over uh, the three states and Chattanooga and everything. That must be really cool to do. Guys, it's lighting out so bad right now. Say goodbye to Tennessee and hello to Georgia. Go. <laughs> oh yeah guys, by the way, I just thought I should point out, um, since we did cross into Georgia, we now are officially in the deep south. So I think that's something I should share. That's pretty cool. Of course. dark out here. Alright guys, this is the last uh, couple minutes here of Georgia before we get to Alabama and before we get into a new time zone, central time zone. This is going to be my first time in Alabama and in another time zone. 
Central Time Zone. So it's 10.14 right now. So when we cross Alabama, it will be 9.14. So that's gonna be kind of confusing. I never did that before, but there it is, baby. Welcome to Sweet Home, Alabama. Entering Central Time Zone Sweet. I cannot believe I'm in Alabama. This is insane. So cool, dude, so cool. Okay, so we're gonna try to find the next possible hotel. It looks like the town is gonna be Fort Payne, Alabama. So we're gonna try to find a hotel there and stay the night. All right guys, so like I said, we decided we wanna stay at Fort Payne, Alabama. So here's the exit for that. I'm gonna get off right now. This town looks pretty cool. <laughs> Of course, got the Cracker Barrel and got the Waffle House, <laughs> of course. All right, so we're gonna stay at that Hampton Inn right there and call it a day. We have been on the road for 19 hours. That is insane. Looks like a pretty nice place. guys so here is our room it's pretty nice not even gonna lie over here is our view we're actually on the top floor which is pretty cool so this is what we're looking at but yeah like you guys know this was a long day a fun day but a long day um so much happened today we drove for 19 hours saw so much saw new states new cities and the trip is only going to continue to get more and more crazy. So me and dad are going to catch some sleep. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. All right. Good morning, guys. It is officially the next morning now. And today we are going to continue on our road trip to New Orleans, Louisiana. And I believe that we are going to get there today. Um, probably not even at night, like evening time. So me and my dad are doing perfectly on schedule. Me and my dad do have a few stops to make today though. Um, I'm not gonna name all of them because most of them you will see in other videos like I was telling you guys about. Um, but one stop that you will see and probably in a few minutes is Bucky's because that's our first stop for today. Before we go, I just wanna show you guys out here since it's like day now. This is our view. It's pretty sweet. Got the Alabama mountains out there. The Appalachian mountains is pretty cool. That's our truck. Hobbled the Chevy Colorado. And it actually looks like the rain kind of stopped too. I mean, it's all kind of like wet outside and stuff, obviously, but hopefully it doesn't rain anymore. All right, guys, so we're getting back on the highway. Uh, it's not 81 anymore, obviously. We are getting onto Interstate 59 now. So I-59 South, and since it's like kind of March, all the trees are starting to bloom, so that looks cool. So long, hotel. It was pretty good. I liked it there. Okay, guys, so our first stop is Bucky's, which you know, and it's a couple miles outside Birmingham. So we're just gonna drive, because right now we're about an hour and 13 minutes away from it. Uh, we are in the Alabama countryside right now. So I'll see you guys when we get to Bucky's. Come back to boy. We do boy la la. So we're about 10 minutes from uh, Bucky's right now and I'm super pumped to finally go there. Um, the drive from the hotel to Bucky's, it was pretty beautiful, man. Like the mountains and like the fog and the forest and everything, really nice. However, it was also really depressing. Um, I mean, the amount of like dilapidated houses and just like run down poverty hit conditions, like it's crazy, man. Like it's really sad. Like the life in the Appalachian Mountains sometimes and in like the deep south it sucks. Alright guys we made it to Bucky's. Damn that's so big. Jeez. My god it's massive that's so cool. Alright guys so Bucky's is pretty good. I didn't do a lot of filming inside but that was like really really huge. It was so big. Got a bunch of stuff. Merchandise. Beaver nuggets of course. You guys can see the Birmingham skyline over in the distance. 
Alright guys, so me and my dad are actually stopping off in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, we want to try to find somewhere to eat here for breakfast. And not only that, we are going to be filming another video here as well. Um, but that is going to be in another video, not in this one. So stay tuned. Uh, so we're at this pizza place called the Mellow Mushroom. Looks cool. Uh, so we caught the pizza. Looks fire. Alright guys, so we are going to leave Birmingham, Alabama now. We're going to get back on the interstate and continue driving towards New Orleans. Birmingham was definitely a cool city. It has a nice little downtown area. Cool little area over here with a lot of like restaurants and stuff like that. Alright guys, we're back on the interstate. We've got to pass the skyline of Birmingham again, which looks super rad. Alright guys, we stopped off at a Circle K in somewhere really random in Alabama. Not really sure where this is, but it's super shady, so let's get out of here. Alright, so we're just continuously driving through Alabama right now. We're about 45 minutes away from the Mississippi state line. So once we do cross over into Mississippi, uh, the next state will officially be Louisiana. And New Orleans is kind of like right there over uh, Lake Pontchartrain. I think I said that right. Looks like it's going to be a tornado up there. Oh, come on. Of course. <laughs> Welcome to Mississippi. Boom. Alright guys, so now we are in the state of Mississippi. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Being in this part of the country is so cool. Like, I never thought I would make it here, you know? Like, I always wanted to see, like, the Deep South and New Orleans and all this kind of stuff. And I'm finally doing it, you know? So now we just got about three hours left until we're actually in the city of New Orleans. So let's get through Mississippi, see what it has to offer here, and just have a good time. Guys, we're pulling over to get gas. Check that out. It's like a barbecue and soul food restaurant, I guess you could say. <laughs> and it's pouring rain again. Man, this deep south weather is so unpredictable. Look at this, guys. This is the first New Orleans sign I've ever seen. We're almost there. Black girl, black girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night? In the pines, in the pines, oh, where the sun never shines. I wish you were. You guys, check out this little thing I found. I got off the highway and it's some like abandoned travel plaza. It's pretty sweet. I like that. And if you guys notice, the trees are starting to turn into more like tropical bayou swampy trees. So that means we're getting a lot like more close to Louisiana now in the swamps. It's a lot hotter out here than it was last time when we got out. So we're definitely getting to the swamps finally say we're about an hour from New Orleans guys all right guys so we're getting off um, somewhere in Mississippi not sure where we got to use the bathroom get some gas so. we're gonna go to this place in the middle of nowhere <laughs> all right guys I don't know where the hell we pulled over but let's just say it's time to get back on the highway <laughs> guys say goodbye to Mississippi we are now in Louisiana. Finally, we made it to our final state of this road trip. Again, I've never been to Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee. Those were all new states for me. So let's see what Louisiana has to offer before we get to New Orleans. Um, we're not really gonna pass through much of Louisiana because honestly, we're gonna be in New Orleans in like 45 minutes, so. Palm trees, finally. Oh, we saw our first palm trees. This entire area reminds me of Florida so much. It's kind of cool. Does this not kind of look like Florida to you guys? Just like this whole vibe. That's so cool, whatever that is. Alright, so up there you can see the bridge that we have to take over Lake Pontchartrain. I think I said that right. And once we're over the bridge, we will officially be in New Orleans. Looks like the sky is finally clearing up and everything. Now hopefully it stays this way for the two days that we're here. It's about 80 degrees right now. All right guys, bridge done. We are now officially in New Orleans. We're on the 
other bridge and you can see the New Orleans skyline. That is sweet. Alright guys, so we actually have a hotel um, booked here already. We're not really staying in like the popular area of New Orleans, like the business district or the French Quarter. We're staying in a place called Mater or like Matier or something like that. I'm not sure how you say it. Almost at our hotel, finally. All right, made it to our hotel. Looks nice as hell. Here's our room. All right, guys, we're in our room. Uh, we did get a room on the top floor. Check this out. These views are insanely cool. Um, however, that's it. That's the end of this video. We successfully completed our drive from New York to New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, man, that was one hell of an adventure. I mean, we started off in the freezing cold and the snow-capped mountains, bare trees, um, freaking snowing to palm trees, 80 degrees and swamps. Um, within two days, we saw so much already and it's only gonna get crazier from here. Um, but the rest of this vacation will be in other videos, like I said before. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this road trip. Um, I know I definitely did. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely consider going to my channel for other adventures. And I'll see you guys in the next video.